uh, we have uh, uh, my colleague, our colleague, uh, Professor Kefa Chepkwin, uh, who's uh, a senior lecturer in the Department of Entrepreneurship and Project Management in the Moy University School of Business and other things, other areas at Moy University, Kenya. Kefa, please. Maybe, um, Prof, uh, mine is just to, 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 to ask if... Um, we need to consider the aspects of uh, soft systems methodology uh, being, um, I don't know, that it's a later version of systems thinking and looking at the, the stakeholders that are involved so that uh, I see like in engineering, uh, Prof there talked about uh, in um, issues of uh, civil engineering. And I'm sure even the other colleagues have from their diff uh, different uh, ex uh, point of expertise. Um, how do we bring in the aspect of uh, the, the, the stakeholders? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I must say, as systems thinkers, we can we are many times in roles of mediators, aren't we? And as mediators, we must see both sides. Uh, we must see the stakeholder side, and we must see whatever we need. Uh, when we understand the stakeholder side, uh, we agree with stakeholder side, but we can also show the holistic, the 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 systems uh, point of of uh, of a, an of an issue. Many times it is very difficult because the personal interests and the corruption and the emotions and everything interfere with this. Uh, whenever it goes about ecology, I always, let's say, fight uh, for, for balance. Uh, if we have kind of uh, events, for example, um, not very big events and we need uh we also have some stakeholders or let's like sponsors or so whatever we always uh, within the faculty within my students i i teach them this way uh we also try we, we always try to do partners uh of them so um to approach this is soft systems methodology. Checkland is is wonderful within this, but in praxis, actually, you really uh, have to completely understand the stakeholders' point of view. Uh, but you have to have in front of you uh, the higher goal um, that it will be good for the society, uh, for for all stakeholders involved in the project or in uh, the issue. And the systems points of view is always the higher goal. It's, uh, it's much more, it's not self-interest, but it's something that can bring lots of benefits to ecology, uh, to people, to society, uh, because we think, we anticipate. We are not fortune tellers, we anticipate, but we anticipate because we have data, because we have, we make models, we work on the models, and we know how things uh, are uh, interconnected. So this is, I would say, um, the let's say the my advice to you. This is also what whenever I try to not the persuade, but I, when I I never try to persuade people. I always try to show uh, the higher goal and uh, give them the solution. If it, if he or she doesn't see the benefit for to be stakeholder, I try to show the higher goal. Thank you, Tadeja. That's very good uh, uh, response then to both. Perhaps this is a, a, a an example of systems thinking uh, theory and. What I'd like to just to suggest is it's a challenge to actually get this to work and to get it to run and maybe suggestions from you folks. But I'm a chemist. I was in the pharmaceutical industry. We were trying to make drugs to treat people who had a lot of money to put it the bottom line on. 
And so we we didn't deal with a, a lot of things that are affecting people who don't have money, neglected and infectious diseases. So the, the idea that we're, we're implementing here at IUPY is let's break down all the disciplinary boundaries within an academic institution and show them that they can be uh, directly applied to very important humanitarian concerns. Simultaneously with doing that, we'll be educating them and they'll have a, a much more uh, a complete perspective on the value of what they're learning. So that's one aspect. But then, you know, to get the resources to, to actually accomplish this, we try to go global. So the idea is break up every single one of these disciplines into smaller pieces that can be addressed by students across the world. I'm a chemist, so I, I focus on chemical synthesis. So we've got a very simple procedure to make possible drugs for neglected or uh, infectious diseases. But then we take these procedures and we take them to a laboratory in Russia, in Moscow, in Lublin, Poland, Barcelona, Mexico City, Cuba, uh, a number of other locations in the United States. And we have students, while they're learning chemistry, make a lot of molecules that are new, that have never been made before, that could be potential uh, drugs for these diseases. Simultaneously, we try to break a boundary and within IUPUI go to our biology colleagues and have them develop ways of looking at these molecules to see if they could be potential drugs for these diseases. And so that's kind of the general scheme. And we're trying to do this, you know, in analytical chemistry, computational chemistry, but obviously there are humanitarian concerns that should be addressed in other disciplines, other uh, schools within our, our, our uh, institution and globally. So that, it's a simple idea, but the problem is, you know, implementing it. I can do it as one person in chemistry, develop these things, develop simple tools. I can get put them in my backpack and take them to Moscow and do a workshop there. I can do that, and I've done that. But to get this to work in all these different disciplines and convince my colleagues that this is really valuable and get the financial support to start implementing that, that's a challenge. It is uh, the root of the problem is or at least the structure of the problem is very, 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 very deep. This is why I don't, uh, I didn't finish uh, law faculty, law studies. <laughs> um, uh, I would, I would ask, what, what are the patterns that led to the situation as it is now? This is my question. What are the patterns that? Uh, led to the, the the situation because when as soon as we know the patterns we are closer to uh, the structure and when we know the structure of the problem then we can uh, find uh, the solution. So this I, is my I, this this would be my question. My question: What are the patterns? You know, one one uh, quick stab that I I have on that uh, understanding that is that. Within the academic institutions, each discipline, uh, the reward system is set up so that uh, it's it's very uh, closed. And uh, it, it, first of all, going across disciplines is, is at risk in a lot of these areas in terms of their career, in terms of their you know the academic structure and how they're rewarded. And so cooperation across these disciplines. Uh, de uh, distracts or takes away from their ability to focus on what the traditional structures are rewarding them for. I think that's uh, uh, one of the, the problems. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, it is actually because the scientific disciplines uh, don't talk the same language. It is always, it is the whenever we have some kind of measures or uh, evaluation, uh, there the measures are uh, different. Well, uh... Uh, now today, uh, thank you, Bill. Today we have a geographer here, Rick, uh, Rick Bine. I mean, that lends itself to global perspectives. Rick, are you uh, are you on? Can you hear me? Yeah, let me get that back on the video here. Uh, yeah, I'm Rick Bine. Uh, I'm a geographer, and one of the things that we can add to the discussion is the spatial dimension. You t and your initial model of uh, time and and uh, and space. Where are things happening? And this adds a lot because of the 
different perspectives around the planet and how we're work, working and not working together. <laughs> and so I think it's in, in, a, a point that needs to include it in, a, in a, a very serious way. So that's about all I have to add at this point. Just don't yeah. neglect t uh, space. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> not at all. Okay. All right. So uh, in our remaining uh, moments, is there others that have questions? We do have uh, uh, the, the head of our Slovenian uh, community here today, huh? Joseph Laposa, our friend mm -hmm. Joseph. Joseph, are you there? I know he came on before with a with great flourish until we muted him. Uh, but Joseph, uh, maybe you can't hear me. But you know, right, so uh, Ian, perhaps I can just comment. I just wanted to comment for a moment on, on Bill's quandary of, of how to get different disciplines to engage with this with a critical topic and 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 I have also encountered the, the same resistance um and and the sort of the lack the it's that you know the silos that prevent us from sort of thinking outside the box and thinking outside and thinking about how all these different disciplines can actually contribute and should contribute you know, to the work of, of advancing these initiatives and so on. Um, when it comes to, you know, academics and, and experts, there's just so much resistance to step into areas where you're not the, the sage on the stage, you know, where you don't have the full context of, of, of you know, of the, the depth of knowledge that we're supposed to have as scholars. Um, and, and it's not until you start thinking maybe more broadly, right? Um, across time, across space, you know, um, and and maybe more globally, that you start to find that voice and that comfort really in recognizing that your expertise is coming from other um, constructs, right? Maybe different frameworks, um, different ways of thinking. Maybe being able to think systemically is one of those skill sets, right? So it's 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 really about. It comes back down to how you train, you know, it, 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 um, Dr. Um, Jacqueline was talking about, you know, this consciousness and and how we have that inherently. But yet I think we've been trained, unfortunately, to limit that ability to step over that boundary and to to enter into that realm of, of discomfort. So I don't have an answer, Bill. Sorry, I wish I had an answer. But I really just wanted to in some ways commiserate with you because I think that is a is an ongoing issue and particularly in the world of interdisciplinarity uh, in in academia and and so it's going to be you know I, I think um, somebody one time I love this quote I'll and I'll mention this talked about how so critical it is to get you know different voices at the table Right? And that's what you're trying to do. But what we really need to be doing is not just getting new voices to the table, but we actually need to change the table. Right? We need a new table. <laughs> um, and so I think that's what what this is all. And maybe that's what the conversation is, is how do we create a new table? Um, you know, seeing the, the lessons of thinking um, through systems. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. So uh, uh, any final comment, uh, Sangeeta or Kefa? Uh, no, I, I think I'm really learning a lot. Uh, yeah, Thank you so much for inviting me here. This is my first time doing this kind of an international participation. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to learn so much. Thank and I, I hope we can get to meet you when we visit uh, Coimbatore. In, you're in Coimbatore, yes? In, in yes, 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 yes. Very good. Please, yeah. please do come. And any of you, if you are in India and close by, Please do let us know and we'll be very happy to host you all. Please do come. Thank you. And Kefa, we're hoping to see you in January. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much, Ian. Thank you, thank you colleagues. Uh, I'm sure I'll be seeing Ian soon in Kenya. Excellent. Well, thank you, so thank you everyone. Today, huh? wonderful presentation, thought provoking. Of course, if we had systems thinking, we wouldn't be in the mess that we are in now, of course. And so it has to be at the top of the agenda. So uh, it's great uh, that uh, you've been able to share with us. Today. Thank you, Andrew, for facilitating. Uh, and uh, we'll see you back online soon, I hope, if not in person. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ian, for invite, invitation. And I'll send the link, uh, the, the, uh, the copy Please. of the, uh, uh, the video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
thank thank you very much, Kate. All right. Bye -bye. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye -bye. Yeah, bye -bye. likewise. Bye-bye.